ValveTime.net. Hi, and welcome to the Valve Time News. Each week, we'll bring you the biggest talking points regarding Valve and the community. Now, the news. The Steam Store continued to expand this past week with an all-new feature known as Steam Tags, which, as the name suggests, allows users and developers to apply descriptive labels to games and software titles. Tags can be applied to titles to better categorize games based on particular traits, themes, attributes, and genres. Users are free to tag games or software with whatever terms they wish, and regularly added tags will then become publicly visible as popular categories, grouping certain titles together based on similar characteristics, such as whether the game is difficult, if it focuses on puzzle solving, if it has military themes, etc. Clicking a popular applied tag will then display similar titles which also feature the selected tag, allowing users to more easily find games they might enjoy. The For You tab on the Steam Store page has been updated to support this new feature as the Tags Recommended For You section of the drop-down box will provide users with suggested tags based on information gathered from games or software commonly used and purchased on the account. Additionally, the tag system supports a diverse range of international languages allowing users to create tags and categorize games in their native tongues. For example, if a user tags a game in French, that tag will only be visible to other users who have French selected as their set language. As other language settings, such as English or Russian, would only display tags set up in their respective languages. For more information on the new Steam Tag system, be sure to head on over to our full write-up on ValveTime.net. The official announcement page might also be worth a look, as it also features a handy FAQ on the subject. Links to both pages will be provided in the video description alongside useful links to websites regarding everything else we're discussing this week. Following the highly successful Steam Dev Days conference Valve hosted last month, the company promised all media from the event would be made available within several weeks' time. Earlier this week, Valve came through on their promise by updating the Steam Dev Days website to announce the release of 28 individual videos from the event which cover a wide range of game development topics including Linux, virtual reality, Steam machines, the Steam controller, alternate reality games, in-game economies, and much, much more. A special introductory video was also released briefly recapping the entire event while highlighting a number of the main talking points and events from the conference. All of the 28 new never-before-seen videos can be accessed in a playlist over on the recently created Steamworks Dev YouTube channel, which we highly recommend checking out if you happen to be interested in game design. The videos feature appearances and discussions from a number of high-profile industry figures from Valve and their hardware and software partners, including the likes of Michael Abrash, Gabe Newell, Mike Moraski, Joe Ludwig, and more. The majority of the video descriptions feature links to PDFs of PowerPoint slides and other supporting documents, which give a closer look at the individual presentation accompanying the videos themselves. Given the 19 hour and 38 minute duration, we have so far only managed to check out a few of the videos, but we imagine the others will be just as interesting and insightful as the few we have had the pleasure of watching thus far. So, anyhow, thank you very much. I have a light flashing at me telling me that I don't get to answer the third question. <laughs> With so few game updates lately, it was up to Counter-Strike Global Offensive to save the week from being a total whitewash. A minor update released on Wednesday introduced the brand new CZ-75 Auto Pistol, which is available as a loadout alternative for the P250. According to the announcement post, both guns are relatively similar, except the CZ-75 is fully automatic and features a rather limited ammunition capacity in comparison, with only two magazines available. The post also describes the weapon as being an inexpensive choice against armored opponents. The gun was released alongside the brand new Weapon Crate 3 series, which consists entirely of weapon finishes for pistols. The CZ-75 Auto is included in the new Crate series, as the announcement post previews the gun in its new Victoria weapon skin. The update also introduced several other balance tweaks to accompany those introduced with last week's patch, including a number of changes to the AUG rifle, such as increased recoil, reduced fire rate, and reduced run speeds while looking down the scope a change the AUG shares with the SG-553 rifle. Also similarly to last week's patch, this new update has also introduced numerous minor UI and map tweaks, specifically for the game's crosshair system and the recently released Overpass map. For a closer look at the recent changes to CSGO, be sure to check out the official change log or the announcement post over on the Counter-Strike website. Later in the week, Valve announced several of the community maps which have been selected to be included in the next CSGO operation. 
A blog post released on Friday announced that Downtown, Seaside, Motel, and Ollie would all return, joining previously confirmed map cache. In the upcoming community pack, Every one of these community-made maps has been included in either Operation Payback or Operation Bravo, and are set to return in the next operation after being voted in by CSGO players who have submitted votes via the main menu tab we discussed on last week's episode. To celebrate Valentine's Day this past Friday, we released the latest episode of Valve Time Top 5. For Episode 7, we decided to take a look at Valve's Top 5 Greatest Relationships, so be sure to head on over to find out which couples we picked out. An annotation link in the episode will be available on screen in a few moments after I interrupt myself to say, and that brings us to the end of another week of Valve news. Don't forget to check out and rate our Dota 2 announcer pack, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.